Now, from the makers of Cold Water Omo, in Steve's apartment, Mrs. Peel was taking a rest with her feet up. You know, it's much harder than karate being a dance instructor. Tough on the feet. It's more dangerous. Hmm. Well, I had a risky afternoon, too. Went to the forwarding address given to me by Peel's bank manager. Turned out to be a door in a wall, nine stories up. Nothing on the outside. Nothing? Is that drink for me? Oh, thanks. Very nearly lost Miss Bola into the street below. You? Well, apart from everyone thinking my feet had doormats with Welcome Home written all over them, I've survived. I had a brush with a snake called Bracewell and planted Peaver's shoes in his locker. If they fit, might prove he's the real Peaver. What did the bank manager say? Well, he identified the snapshot. I said it was the Peaver who came in and closed the account, but uh, the manager had only seen him on that one occasion. So this man could still be an imposter. Oh? Yes. The bank may have been dealing with a real peaver, and it was a fake one who closed the account. So, what now? Well, you'd better get back to work. I'll take the photograph along to a tattooist who works on the dead man's arm. Uh, what was his name? Toby Tintry of Terrific Tattoos. You know, there are too many T's in this case, Steve. Uh, then how about the other half of the drink? The Avengers. <laughs> and Emma Peel, The Avengers. Once an OMO user, always an OMO user. Because it gets out the worst dirt and stain, Mrs. Francis of Port Elizabeth found that Omo cleaned her husband's bathing trunk. She used to come home and there'd be moss and sludge to a store and uh, oil from our beaches. Well, he wanted to throw them away. So, well, he'd throw them over and up and call them to Omo. And the next day they were shimmering high again. Cold water Omo cleans best. Over a million South African housewives have proved it. Day in, night out. Now you can choose from Benolia's five new classic fragrances. Episode four of this story, in which John Steed finds another body, and then joins Mrs. Peel at the studios where she is learning the quick, quick, slow death. Mrs. Peel thought she'd got the raw end of the deal, but then she usually did when assigned to a case with John Steed. Certainly, work as a dance instructor with terpsichorean training techniques had its disadvantages. To start with, all the clients seemed elderly, over-large, and clumsy men. Attempting to follow them round the small ballroom to the music of an old gramophone was a work of art. Nikki, Emma's companion and fellow instructress, gazed over her partner's shoulder, the despair in her eyes reflecting the pain in her feet. But, professional at her job to the last, she said, why, you're making enormous improvement, Mr. Washington. So light on your feet. <laughs> oh. oh, you're murdering mine. That's right. Splendid. I think I need a bone graft. Oh, watch out here, Cecile. Right, gentlemen, another delightful session finished. Come along, then, we'll see you both again tomorrow. Well, are we ready, girls, for our next delightful session? So soon. Ah, ah, now, do I detect a teeny note of discontent in the camp? Oh, it's certainly not. He's teasing you, gentlemen. You are her favorite pupils. Now, run it on. It was at that point that Arthur Peaver entered, a pair of dancing thumps clutched in one hand. Mrs. Peel's eyes never left them. Mrs. Peel, you will partner this gentleman, Mr. Marsh. Aye. Oh, 
even bigger than the last. Mrs. Steele, Samba and Black Bottom. Many a true word. Watch out for flying glass. And you, Mr. Beaver, Nicky will take you through. Yes. Oh, naughty, naughty, Mr. Beaver. Uh, Let me see those shoes. Now, I've warned you before. Look, nails protruding. Well, they will absolutely ruin our beautiful sprung floor. Uh, uh, Sorry. Calm it down. We'll get you another pair. Mrs. Peel watched the scene with chagrin, unable to follow Lucille, who turned at the doorway and said, Get under the lens, Mrs. Peel. It's you. Yeah, this girl will listen. Oi, oi, Samba. Oi, oi, Samba. That's wise and enthusiastic. That's too much. I'm going to claim danger money. Mrs. Peel, holding her partner at arm's length, took the floor, while in the locker room. Yep. Kind of skip. Also, the is English. I told you, speak only, only English here. Ah, but I don't understand. What was all that about? Nothing that need bother you. You're just Arthur Peaver, remember? A quiet little Englishman. Now, change into these other pumps. Lucille Banks selected another pair of shoes. Peaver reached out for them. As he did so, the sleeve on his right arm rode up a little. Lucille reached forward, reacting with a gasp. Excuse me, I'll be right back. She left the locker room hurriedly and went to find Ivor Bracewell, who was admiring himself in a full-length mirror as he practiced a few dance steps. Ivor, Ivor, stop jogging about and pay attention. It's urgent, very urgent. Why, what is it? The tattooist. We forgot all about the tattooist. How could we have been such fools? Quickly, it's not too late. Not if we act now at once. <laughs> Business was not brisk at Toby Tintree's tattoo workshop, but Toby, an artist to his fingertips, was putting in a little practice. With a very fine drill, he was tattooing a large pink garlic sausage. Toby Tintree hardly looked up from his work. He was engrossed. Oh, come in, come in. You don't mind holding on for just a moment, do you? This is a little fad of mine, practicing on a garlic sausage. <laughs> Helps to keep my hand in when things are a bit slack. You see, you need a very delicate touch indeed. Unlike human skin, which is surprisingly tough. One false move on a sausage, and <laughs> it's all torn to pieces. <laughs> ah. Now, what can I... Tintry stopped. A man had approached the counter. He placed his left hand on it. Tintry, glancing sideways, saw clearly tattooed on the wrist a rose. He put the drill down. Oh, that's nice. Now, not my work, of course, but I can appreciate another's craft. Oh, it's marvellous, yes. Yeah. Tintry broke off as his eyes went from the tattoo to the man's other hand. In it, as though by magic, it appeared a pistol. It was fitted with a silencer. What? What is it? You! Pintry <laughs> gasped and fell behind the counter. The drill started to whirr away, jumping and jerking on the end of its cord. The assassin, who had not uttered a word, walked out of the shop. Toby Tintry, mortally wounded, dragged himself painfully towards the drill. Uh, oh, oh, God. Got to... to tell. Oh, God. It was some 40 minutes later when John Steed arrived. The sound of the tattooist's drill caught Steve's ear. He walked over and switched it off. It was then that he saw Tintry's legs sticking out behind the counter. What the devil? Hmm. Dead all right. But what's this? Steed reached down and picked up the very large pink garlic sausage. One side had a superb picture of Tower Bridge. The other read, The killer has a rose tattoo on the right wrist. Well, that's a clear enough clue, surely, Steed. In the dance salon, Mrs. Peel was enjoying a welcome tea break. 
she walked right by the large, tiresome gentleman who couldn't samba and sat down next to Arthur Peaver. May I offer you some refreshment, Mr. Peaver? Oh, you are most kind. Nonsense. It's part of my job. Besides, I want to get to know you better. Oh, too kind. Well, why not? I mean, if I'm working here, we'll be getting to see quite a lot of each other in the future, shan't we? I regret that will not be the case, Mrs. Peel. Oh? I shall soon be passing out. Passing out? I am within a fishtail of receiving my diploma in ballroom dancing. And I have that. I shall have no need to attend classes. I shall pass on, Mrs. Peel. And we shall not meet again. Excuse me, please. Hey, Emma, suffering. Why not put your feet above the level of your head? It soothes them so much that the agony is only excruciating. Nicky, Mr. Peaver was telling me he'll be receiving his diploma soon. I try. Yeah, but I've been dancing with him. If dancing's the know, word. he's terrible. But well, then why the diploma? Good for business, I suppose. Take the money, give a few lessons, and hand a diploma to another satisfied customer. How do you know how Lucille hands out those diplomas? It isn't everyone who gets them. They're just handed out to a select few. Then, diploma in hand, they disappear. Never knew one who came back later. And here we have our most exclusive dance studio with a beautifully sprung floor, fully trained dance instructors in attendance at all times. Mm. You can see how well equipped we are, Mr. Steed. John Seed, who was with Lucille, allowed his eyes to stray to Mrs. Peel. You are indeed um, fully equipped. Right. Now we can take some particulars. Now, this form. Your name? Jonathan Steed. A fine old English name. Ah, well, we came over with the Vikings. They were between raids and discovering America at the time. Then you are British by birth. Birth, nature, and inclination. Well, I haven't spent much time here late. Been abroad, you know, and only returned last week. Oh, um, to see your family? Ah, alas, I regret I have no family and uh, no friends. And you wish to learn to dance? Well, uh, brush up more than anything, you know. Once upon a time, I swung a rather elegant shoe, but now I'm fiercely rusty. I see. Well, you may have your first lesson whenever convenient. Uh, why not right now? Oh, very well. Excuse me, I'll make the necessary arrangements. Steed strolled around the studio and ended up near Mrs. Peel. What are you doing here? Looking for a killer with a rose tattoo on his wrist. What? Yeah, take this parcel, read the message, and destroy it. Destroy it? How? Eat it, Mrs. Peel, if you can. Hope you're keen on garlic sausage, Mrs. Peel. comes a new way to buy tooth decay for Keith. New fluoride for Keith toothpaste. It's the clear blue way to fight tooth decay, and it's the best anti-decay toothpaste around. New great tasting for Keith toothpaste. The clear blue way to fight for tooth decay for Keith. New family fluoride for Keith toothpaste. There's no dirt that can stand up to the cleaning power of cold water Omo. If you use cold water Omo, it comes out very, very easily indeed. Says Mrs. Sutherland of Pianikin. Once an Omo user, always an Omo user. It cleans best. to Friday to John Steed and Emma Peel, The Avengers, brought to you by the makers of Cold Water Omo. Cold Water Omo.